This Mini has been lying around in the review pile for almost two months, so it's a lot later than usual. Sorry DreamQuest, I'll take my lashes as punishment. Ah, f The DreamQuest Pro is another budget Mini jumping in the crowded pool. But does it dive in cleanly? Or belly flop, spraying everyone inside, and getting beaten up after surfacing. Oh. I'm glad you asked that question. I was thinking the exact same thing. But you'll need to wait until after this message to find out. The EaseUs disk copy software makes upgrading your storage drives faster and easier. Clone drives or migrate Windows installations to new ones with a simple and easy to use interface. This app supports disk, system, and even partition cloning. Find out more with the link in the video description. What sets this budget mini apart from most is its metal case. Also, a nice touch is the logo on top of it, acting as a secondary power on LED. One blemish on the outside build is the plastic lid underneath, which feels a bit thin and has some flex. But we can't have everything now, can we? No, we can't. Oh. Overall, even with the metal case, it can't quite shake the budget feel. This DreamQuest Pro comes with Intel's N95, a 4-core CPU without hyper-threading and Intel UHD graphics. Price is a strong point at US$160 after the coupon on Amazon.com for the 16GB RAM, 512GB SSD model. This is another Mini that skips traditional front ports and only has a power button. The left side has 4 USB 3 and a micro SD card reader you can use for extra storage. The back comes with 3 HDMI ports, which if I recall correctly, is the first Alder Lake N Mini to include this feature. All three ports support up to 4K60. Apart from the audio jack, there's dual Realtek Gigabit LAN and a Realtek 8821C for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Suitably budget. Wi-Fi range using the 5G band on the router at a distance of 12 meters or 39 feet worked fine. There were no pop-ups about connection issues with my eSports gaming test. For Bluetooth, I use an audio speaker and look for uninterrupted music playback with no artifacts. The DreamQuest Pro does well, hitting 5 meters. In the box is a wall power supply, HDMI and wall mount with a bonus screwdriver. I have to say the plastic wall mount is small and weak compared to the bigger metal plates we often see included. Opening up this Mini is easy. Four screws and lift the lid. A 2.5 inch SATA drive can be mounted to it, although no screws are provided. From here, you've got access to the M.2 drive. An M.2 SATA SSD is used, but I'll test an NVMe later to see if it works. To get to the DDR4 stick, you'll need to unscrew the board. After four screws, it's not too difficult to jiggle it out. DDR4 2666 is included and the Wi-Fi chip is soldered on. This Mini comes with Windows 11 Pro and the malware scan returned A-OK. -okay. You can also use Ubuntu without any problems. Let's see how the DreamQuest performs in the benchmarks. In single core Cinebench, it's fine. There's almost nothing separating the top N95 result and the DreamQuest. Multicore is also good with the top score out of the box. I increased the power limit in the BIOS, but it did nothing. This is around what the N95 should be getting. Geekbench has the N95 at the bottom when comparing the results, and the same with Multicore. Where the margin between the N95 and N100 is larger than in Cinebench. H.264 video encoding again shows good performance for an N95. On to integrated graphics. The slower 2666MHz memory does affect the score a bit over the best result. There's a 4% drop in DX11 and same in DX12. And here's the latest Steel Nomad Lite benchmark. Still need more data to make it meaningful. So I did mention the M.2 drive included is SATA and the drive is saturating the available bandwidth in the sequential read and write. But out of curiosity, I threw in an NVMe drive and it works at X1 speed. Faster than SATA, yet still far off of full Gen 3 NVMe speeds. Intel's N95 is a similar performing CPU to the N100. It's slightly worse on the CPU and GPU side. As an office PC, it's fine. Thanks to its hardware video decoders, you can watch 4K 60fps YouTube, including AV1. 
It does an okay job with multimedia workloads, so lighter Photoshop and 1080p Premiere projects will be okay. Game-wise, forget stuff like Fortnite, but simpler games like Roblox or Minecraft at 1080p are decent. Or GTA 5 at 720p. GameCube, Wii and PS2 emulation is capped at 720p. And some games will need a further drop in resolution to get full speed. The BIOS has all the features commonly requested in advance and then onboard miscellaneous features. Idle power draw is 1 1 higher than average, and the maximum is one of the higher results from a mini with an Intel N95. The cooler doesn't do the best job in keeping the maximum CPU temp down. This result is on the high end. You can also feel the metal case get warm after a bit of use. Although, if you add the higher power limit tweak results, it's far from the worst performer. Fan noise under load is on the high side. If fan noise annoys you, there are better options out there. Unfortunately, the M.2 SATA SSD did not have a working temperature sensor, but it should run okay even without cooling, as SSD drives don't produce a lot of heat. I wouldn't bother replacing it with an NVMe. Alright, let's wrap this one up. The DreamQuest Pro is one of the few minis to include a metal case at this price. It has three storage options, M.2, micro SD card, and 2.5 inch SATA. An older lake and mini PC with triple HDMI is a first. To come across my desk anyway. The Pro works full speed out of the box. No tweaking necessary. Wireless range is also good. However, the lack of USB-C is very noticeable. I'm not a fan of USB ports on the side when there's space at the front. Fan noise under load is on the high side. A beefier cooler to bring down temps and fan noise would have been nice. The DreamQuest Pro is a very competitively priced budget mini PC and is a decent option for those wanting dual gigabit LAN or three HDMI ports. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the DreamQuest Pro. But if you're wanting a mini PC with dual 2.5 gigabit LAN, Check out this cheap mini PC that comes with an Intel N100. Cheers!